Hello guys, my name is Armin. In today's episode, Learning Navis, we want to take a look at Option Editor. So this is a place that you can go and basically set your Navis model. So that's your settings, basically. So you can change the color over there. You can enhance the performance of your Navis model. You can change the viewpoints, attribute, and much more. Let's jump into Navis so we can review it together. So for the option editor, we need to go to the Navis and then all the way down, you can see options. So let's just click on it. It basically opens up. We're going to go through all of the general interface model tools and file readers. Let's start with general. So undo location, local caching and environment. Just leave them as is as a uh, 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 default um, autosave. So it's very important. Make sure you know where this location is because if you receive a corrupted file or you want to go back to the previous version, you, you need that link. That's very important. Also, the frequency and history between your meeting. So basically autosave. If you have a meeting and you don't want to autosave in your meeting, just make sure you change that uh, minutes um, and then the time of it display units uh, you'll be able to see you know feet um, inches degrees and then also the precision of it the sectioning so this is an outline color around the section area so let me close this one out you can see right here the outline is black so i cut the section through the building everything is black so if let's say i want to change it to red or a different color you can see immediately it's going to change that outline so this is customizable um, you can pick a color that you feel comfortable and go with it. Um, selection. So this is kind of relating to the selection th uh, three and that's a resolution based on the last uh, model. And you can see right here, the last objects is selected. Um, so just leave these as is and also the measurement, but make sure all these boxes are checked um, so you can have a, a precise a measurement tool. And also when you go to the snapping, make sure you have all of these checks. So it's going to snap to the line, edge, or vertex if uh, in your object. Um, default viewpoints, this is very important. So if you check these boxes is basically save all the attributes that you are um, defining for your viewpoints so this is going to use it as a default and it keeps everything but if you don't want to have all the required one you can use that also the linear speed and angular speed are the speed that sometimes when you navigate you can see everything is going so fast you can also access it through the navigation here um, until the viewpoint navigate you can drop down you'll be able to see that and you can adjust that um, so if everything goes very fast this is a place that you need to go and then fix it links um, just leave it the way it is quick properties if you check this box you can see that basically when you stay on an object you will be able to see uh, a quick properties on it you also can uh, turn it on and off under the display panel the whole property that's the, basically the whole panel that opens up but the quick property when you kind of move your mouse and stays on an object it'll show it up and if you want to define more you can click here so this is the items that i defined and i feel um that these are giving me the uh, whatever i need during the meeting but this is basically adjustable you can add to this you can change them um to your needs and you can kind of create something that's going to give you more so reference views these are all basically just leave it the display um, leave it as a default um, don't change anything these are basically work well in navis works um, and this um, is going to kind of help you out do not turn anything off or change any sizes this is what's supposed to be so just leave it so in terms of appending and merge i always leave it to ask before adding a file um, to the sheet but i mean again this one if you don't want never add anything on always add without asking you can check the other ones um grids uh, basically just a color you can adjust over here so you have a three colors and above the ceiling below so basically and then the other levels you can adjust those colors so if i turn the view on you'll be able to see uh the grid it's in green and if i go back and check it let's say it's yellow it's gonna change immediately like here so you can see it so if i hit okay you can see those are all turning to 
um, yellow color from green so that's basically something that you want and if you want to change the font size you can kind of make it bigger or smaller right here all of these just leave them as is this is the kind of the classic walk that i like you never uh, that i like and this is the navigation bar next to it if you want to go to the classic or a different version um you can use them for the queue i prefer to have it in def default and everything checked um, and then steering wheel if you want to remove these and kind of use the steering wheel you can basically uh, activate it by clicking on the steering wheel on the side and these are all the adjustment for the steering wheel this is very important performance so close nwc nwd so these little checkbox removes the file lock that would get attached to the appended the, the nwc nwd so without this check the file lock is applied and you cannot override the file so make sure this is checked also uh, optimize and load it basically give you uh, delete duplicates optimize save viewpoints also is gonna delete duplicate material attribute especially with the ifc files so make sure you have these two items checked especially optimize and load it helps you with the ifc the model is not gonna crash um so um and then the nwd nwc always leave them on default that's going to be helpful clash detection um you can see these are the custom highlight colors which change the colors in item uh color so if you go see right here we have the green and red so if you want to change those two colors to a different color this is a place that you need to go in the option editor to adjust those color and change them to a different color anything that you prefer and you want to have it in your model um, and then also timeliner and then compare these are all just leave them as default uh, for quantification script or animator as well uh, these are the ones that we need to have it and only thing that i want to point out in the file reader if you want to adjust anything for your dwgs this is a location to come if you want to change any units or basically any of the views to uncheck the boxes this is a place that you can come and adjust to access all the different file type over here and basically this is going to give you a different uh options to customize the file that comes into navisworks Thank you guys for watching today's episode. If you like the content, please subscribe and leave a like, and I'll see you in the next video.